my name's uh, Jeffrey Price. I'm uh, the director of oral radiology at the university, as well as co-director of the Division of Artificial Intelligence Research. And in that capacity, I uh, teach the pre-doctoral dental students, uh, V1 through D4. I've made changes in our D2 class. The topic is an introduction to oral radiographic interpretation. And in there, there's a classroom component, which is lectures on the different types of diseases that we see as dentists. And the second component is a laboratory component. And the laboratory component is the one that we have changed. Previously, we used a, uh, a Word document with different headings, and the students were expected just to fill in with free style, um, a free thought uh, entries describing lesions and then come up with their own differential diagnosis and finally uh, what they recommend as their final diagnosis. I found that the students were spending a lot of time referring back to our PowerPoint lectures and just searching back and forth uh, and they were not spending enough time actually learning the process. The change was developing using the Qualtrics software a guided radiographic interpretation exercise. There's two parts to it. I tell the students that learning radiographic interpretation is like learning a foreign language. So one of the parts is just getting the terminology. And so having a guided interpretation survey puts the terminology right out there for them. So they don't have to struggle to find the terms. They just have to select the correct ones that describe the pathosis that on the radiographic um, view that they're looking at. And then the second part is um, they oftentimes left the Word document form blank because it wasn't, I couldn't force them to answer. But the Qualtrics survey forces them to make choices. So again, it reinforces that structured way to approach uh, radiographic interpretation. We also wanted to make it easier and less on the back end as far as grading. Because the old way, I would review every form that came in and make a, a mostly objective, but sometimes it would be more subjective on what grade the student deserved. So this way we can program Qualtrics to give us a grade. We have happier students at the end of the day. Um, in the past we would have students who um, would struggle to finish five, we have five cases per three hour session, and they would struggle uh, to turn in the exercise. Uh, and now because it's a bit more efficient uh, or a lot more efficient for the student. They don't spend as much time referring back to try to find out the right terminology to use. They can complete these five cases uh, and or use it in terms of getting a little more advanced feedback from faculty members that are in the um, lab supervising.